The Integrated Space Cell is the nodal agency within the Government of India which oversees the security of its space-based military and civilian hardware systems. It will be jointly operated by all the three services of the Indian Armed Forces, the Civilian Department of Space and the Indian Space Research Organisation Description The integrated space cell has been set up to utilize more effectively the country's space-based assets for military purposes and to look into threats to these assets. It functions under the Integrated Defense Services Headquarters of the Indian Ministry of Defense. This command will leverage space technology including satellites. Unlike an aerospace command, where the Air Force controls most of its activities, the integrated space cell envisages cooperation and coordination between the three services as well as civilian agencies dealing with space. The armed forces are increasingly depending on satellites for communication, aircraft and missile guidance, reconnaissance and surveillance. Satellites are also essential for civilian purposes such as weather forecasting, disaster management and communications. This has made it important to work out measures to protect India's space-based assets. Topic: <laughs> Formation The formation of an integrated space cell was announced on 10 June 2010 by Defence Minister Shri A. K. Antony who said it was being established because of the growing threat to India's space assets. Offensive counter space systems like anti-satellite weaponry, new classes of heavy lift and small boosters and an improved array of military space systems have emerged in our neighbourhood stressing that these need to be counted. Announcing its setting up, Antony said while India remains committed to non-weaponization of space, emergence of offensive counter-space systems and anti-satellite weaponry posed new threats which had to be counted. The Defence Minister's announcement comes about 16 months after India's then Chief of Air Staff, Air Chief Marshal Shashi Tyagi, told the media that India was in the process of setting up an aerospace command to exploit outer space by integrating its capabilities." The integrated space cell has apparently been operational for six months before its formal announcement by Defence Minister Shri. A. K. Antony, the announcement came less than a month after China used a medium-range ballistic missile to shoot down one of its own aging satellites, a Chinese Feng Yun-1C polar orbit weather satellite that it had launched into orbit in 1999. With that, China displayed to the world that it had the technology to knock out a satellite in space, expertise that only two other countries, Russia and the United States of America have. While China's missile test may have hastened the decision, there are broader reasons behind its formation, especially with the Indian Armed Forces relying more on space-based assets for communication, reconnaissance and surveillance. <laughs> <laughs> Satellites operated As of December 2018, the IRS system is the largest constellation of remote sensing satellites for civilian use in operation today in the world which also has the dual military use, with 14 operational satellites including the latest at least four dedicated military use GSAT, GSAT-7 and GSAT-7A, HISIS and Microsat R satellites as of 24 January 2019. Of the 900-plus operational satellites, there are 320 dual-use or dedicated military satellite in the sky, half of which are owned by USA alone, followed by Russia, China and India 14 as of 24 January 2018. All these Indian satellites are placed in polar sun synchronous orbit and provide data in a variety of spatial, spectral and temporal resolutions. Though most are not meant to be dedicated military satellites, some have a spatial resolution of 1 meter or below which can be also used for military applications. The following is a noteworthy list of satellites. 
The Technology Experiment Satellite or TS is an experimental satellite to demonstrate and validate, in orbit, technologies that could be used in the future satellites of Indian Space Research Organization the Technology Experiment Satellite TS, has a panchromatic camera capable of producing images of 1 meter resolution for remote sensing. The launch of TES made India the second country in the world after the United States that can commercially offer images with 1 meter resolution. It is used for remote sensing of civilian areas, mapping industry and geographical information services. The RESAT-2, or Radar Imaging Satellite-2 has a primary sensor, the Synthetic Aperture Radar from Israel Aerospace Industries RESAT-2 is India's first satellite with a synthetic aperture radar. It has a day-night, all-weather monitoring capability and has a resolution of 1 meter. Potential applications include tracking hostile ships at sea. Though the Indian Space Research Organization sought to underplay the satellite's defense capabilities in its website and in its announcements, a majority of the media preferred to classify it as a spy satellite. ISRO claims that the satellite will enhance ISRO's capability for Earth observation, especially during floods, cyclones, landslides, and in disaster management in a more effective way. The CARTOSAT 2 carries a state of the art panchromatic pan camera that take black and white pictures of the Earth in the visible region of the electromagnetic spectrum. The swath covered by these high-resolution pan cameras is 9.6 km and the spatial resolution is 80 cm. The satellite can be steered up to 45 degrees along as well as across the track. CARTOSAT-2 is an advanced remote sensing satellite capable of providing scene-specific spot imagery. The data from the satellite will be used for detailed mapping and other cartographic applications at cadastral level, urban and rural infrastructure development and management, as well as applications in land information system lease and geographical information system GIS. .The CARTOSAT-2A is a dedicated satellite for the Indian Armed Forces. The satellite carries a panchromatic pan camera capable of taking black and white pictures in the visible region of electromagnetic spectrum. The highly agile Cartosat 2A can be steered up to 45 deg along as well as across the direction of its movement to facilitate imaging of any area more frequently. The CARTOSAT-2B carries a panchromatic pan camera capable of taking black and white pictures in the visible region of electromagnetic spectrum which has a resolution of 80 cm. The highly agile CARTOSAT-2B can be steered up to 45 deg along as well as across the direction of its movement to facilitate imaging of any area more frequently and offers multiple spot scene imagery. The GSAT-7 was launched in 2013 for the exclusive use of the Indian Navy to monitor the Indian Ocean region (IOR) with the satellite's 2,000 nautical mile footprint and real-time input capabilities to Indian warships submarines and maritime aircraft. To boost its network-centric operations, the IAF is also likely to get another satellite GSAT-7C within a few years. HISIS, a dual-use satellite, was also launched in November 2013, which is used by the Navy. HISIS carries two payloads, the first in the visible near-infrared spectral range of 0.4 to 0.95 micrometers with 60 contiguous spectral bands and the second in the shortwave infrared range spectral range of 0.85 to 2.4 micrometers with a 10 nanometers bandwidth and 256 contiguous spectral bands. The satellite will have a spatial resolution of 30 meters and a swath of 30 kilometers from its 630 kilometers sun synchronous orbit. GSAT-7A, launched in December 2018 for the exclusive military use for the Indian Air Force, GSAT-7A, an advanced military communications satellite exclusively for the Indian Air Force, is similar to Indian Navy's GSAT-7, and GSAT-7A will enhance network-centric 
warfare capabilities of the Indian Air Force by interlinking different ground radar stations, ground airbase and airborne early warning and control aircraft such as Berov A-50 Falcon and DRDO AEW and CS. GSAT-7A will also be used by Indian Army's Aviation Corps for its helicopters and UAVs operations. Microsat R satellite, a dedicated military satellite for the Indian Armed Forces, was launched on the 24th of January 2019. 760 kilograms Imjin satellite WSA launched using PSLV C-44 rocket.